Hello and welcome to another episode of Beacon Bin Science. If I ask you, can we mix oil in water? No, right? But here we are going to show you a magic where we are going to mix oil in water. Check the magic. Emulsion. Micro emulsion is a sub part of emulsion. They are of size roughly between 10 to 100 nanometers. That's why they are termed as nanoparticles. Micro emulsions are a sub part of emulsion. They are of nanometer size particles and are most widely used in industries and biochemical field for drug delivery. Now let's understand step by step what a micro emulsion is and what are the factors that is affecting its formation. Emulsion is a homogeneous solution of water, oil, which was hexane in our case, and surfactant, which was by the molecules at the surface is what known as surface tension. This surface tension between the two non-miscible liquid causes the two liquid layer to move apart and because this tension arises at the surface of the two liquids it can be termed as interfacial tension. But again the question is why this all happens? To understand this we need to know what is surfactants. Surfactants are the molecules having both polar and non-polar part in single molecule. They when added in an emulsion formation process increase their stability by making them stable and homogeneous. Polar head part is known as hydrophilic which faces towards water as water is polar and the non-polar part which is a chain of hydrocarbon also known as hydrophobic phase towards oil or organic liquid. Now this surfactant comes in between the two immiscible liquid and reduce the interfacial tension by interacting with both the liquids. 
Soap is an example of surfactant. The structure of soap contains the hydrocarbon long chain, which is a non-polar hydrophobic tail, and carboxylic group COO minus, which act as a polar hydrophilic head. Now we have a solution in which oil, water and surfactant line all together. This is our system, oil, water and surfactant. In order to move forward in the formation of the microemulsion, this delta G value should be negative. Now let's understand what is delta G. Delta G is a thermodynamic term which is a gives free energy. Here you can see the equation, gives free energy delta G is equals to gamma into delta A minus T delta S. This gamma is interfacial tension that is between oil and water, surface tension. And this delta A is a change in the surface area after formation of this microemulsion. This is T which is a temperature and delta S is change in entropy of a system. Now, let's understand this. This system is going forward to the formation of microemulsion where this oil layer is converting into a micro droplets. This increase in the droplet number would increase the del uh, delta S value, the entropy of a system, which eventually leads to the increase in the delta G value in a negative way, negative side. So the system will for move forward to form a thermodynamically stable system. So that's all about experimental part of microemulsion. And hope you all get the detailed explanation about the microemulsion part. If you like the video, do hit the like button. Also, comment us down below the topic that you want us to cover in the next video. See you in the next video.